Okay, I'm going to show you how to apply MLA formatting to your essay in Microsoft Word 2007. Um, some of the things Microsoft did in this version is they increased the spacing between lines, so your headings are usually way stretched out. And they also changed the system font to Calibri, size 11. So to fix that, click on your essay, press Control A to select the entire thing, go to the styles and expand it right here, and then select uh, the no spacing. That'll get rid of the paragraph spaces. Set the font of your essay to times the Roman. Um, set it to size 12. And then also set the line spacing, which is right here in the paragraph area. Set that to 2.0. Um, now something this will have done is it will have um, moved everything to the left. So anything that was in the center, be sure to recenter, such as this title here. So recenter that. Now, when you selected everything, the headers here weren't selected. So you need to go make sure that that isn't Calibri, which it is. So change it to Times New Roman to do that. Double click on the header. Press Control A to select the entire thing. Um, go to the Home tab right here. And then set the font to Times New Roman, size 12. And then double click on your essay to go back to it. Now your essay should be completely MLA formatted, except um, just to be sure that your margins are correct, go to Page Layout, and then click on Margins. Now Microsoft should default to normal, which is one inch margins, which is MLA format. But just to be sure, make sure it is on normal. So click it. And there you go. Your essay should be completely MLA formatted. Okay, I'm going to show you how to set the MLA format to be your default Microsoft Word theme. That way, um, you shouldn't ever have to set anything to MLA format again. It should automatically default to that when you open Microsoft Word. So, to do this, um, first make sure your essay is uh, formatted in MLA. And then uh, pretty much delete everything from your essay. So, Control A and then delete. That's what I did there. And then also delete the header here, and then we'll go back to your essay. Okay, so now you have an empty document which is set to everything, paragraphs, everything set, right? Then um, what we're going to do is overwrite the existing template in Microsoft Word. So to do this, we need to find out where the template is. So go to the Word button up here, uh, click on Word Options, um, go to Advanced, and scroll down to File Locations, right here. Um, now find the User Templates. This is where the default template is located. Click Modify. And um, click right up here in the title bar, just a blank space. And you'll get the huge address. And then right click and copy that. Okay. So now you have that address where the template's located, copied in your clipboard. Okay. Now um, close everything out there. And then we want to save this document. So save as. And then again, click in the blank space. And this time, paste it. And then press the Go button. And you will go to the Templates folder right here. Now um, save as type. Set it to this one right here. Uh, Word macro enabled template, and it's a dot doc dot m, sorry, d o t m file. And then make a new one called um, m l a or something like that, and press save. Um, now we need to overwrite the M L A format. So um, you can't save as normal, which is the default when it's open. So close it, and then go to start. Um, go to your computer, paste um, in the address by clicking in the blank area here. Um, click in the blank area and then hit paste and then press the go button or enter. Okay, then you'll go to your documents theme folder right here. Um, now what you have to do is delete normal, 
So delete it. And then rename MLA right here. Right click rename to normal. Okay. Now close this out. And then when you start Word, um, it should come up completely MLA formatted. Times New Roman, size 12, no spacing. And you can go ahead and write your essay, and you won't have to worry about MLA anymore. And once you do this, it shouldn't stay as long as you have the same computer.